low self-esteem can affect all of us, but sometimes we don't even realize we're doing it to ourselves. That's why you have to change your story to change your life. Now you're probably wondering, what the hell does that mean? For so many years, I've repeated the same negative things. Therefore, it became my story and my reality, and I wasn't able to achieve the things I wanted. So if you're always bringing yourself down, saying you're not good enough, this will become your story and your reality. Mike Tyson had one of the worst childhoods out there, and you might be able to relate to that, but he ended up becoming a world champion, made millions, lost millions, then made it again. Alex Homozi had the worst relationship with his parents. He dropped out of university, his father didn't believe in his dreams, and now he's on the road to becoming a millionaire. The one thing these two have in common is they didn't let their past define their future. You're not born with low self-esteem. It comes from the experiences you have throughout life. But one thing you have to remember, a lot of these experiences were out of your control. Whether you had absent, abusive, demanding parents, you were always bullied at school, you always felt like you didn't fit in, women always told you you weren't shit and you weren't worth nothing. All these experiences can lead to low self-esteem as well as destroy your confidence. But the good thing is, you can change your story at any moment. I changed mine and so can you. My name is Yasin. I worked in the NHS for 10 years as an orthotist, working with amputees and disabled people, helping them to walk again and build their confidence. Now I help men achieve their full potential. First, let's figure out what is self-esteem. Self-esteem is how we view ourselves from our beliefs, our experiences, our achievements and also how others perceive us. Signs that you might have low self-esteem is you don't believe in yourself, you avoid taking risks, new opportunities, you avoid seeing people, you let other people influence your decision, you're always feeling like you're not good enough. But don't worry, if you feel like you've got low self-esteem, today we're gonna look at some simple ways how we can boost your self-esteem but also improve your confidence so you can write your new story that you'll be proud of. Step one, letting go. This is gonna be one of the hardest, but also one of the most important things you have to do to build your self-esteem and your confidence. Accepting your past cannot be changed is an important part of building your self-esteem and your confidence. Now I know it's a lot easier said than done, but this is a crucial part to building your self-esteem. If you can acknowledge it wasn't your fault, you couldn't choose your parents, you couldn't choose the area you were born, this will help you to move forward. When you go to that dark place, you can scream, shout, cry, swear, do whatever it takes. But just remember this one thing, your past does not define you. So leave your past in the past, forget it, move forward, let's build your self-esteem and your confidence. Step two, self-praise. The way we talk about ourselves is so important. If we talk negatively and bad about ourselves, this will rewire our brain and body to think like this. That's why you've got to speak positively about yourself. We all have things that we love about ourselves, the things we've achieved. Now we need to remind ourselves about them. No matter how big or small, keep reminding yourself of those things. This will not only help to rewire your brain, it will boost your confidence and your self-esteem. So stop shit talking yourself. Start talking positively about yourself. You will see how this impacts your life. This will not only change your mental state, it will change your physical state as well. You'll start to sit more upright. You'll start to feel more proud, which will improve your confidence and your self-esteem. Marcus Aurelius said you have power over the mind, not outside events. Focus on this and you will find your strength. Step three, enjoy. Do the things you enjoy and love to do. Whether it's playing a computer game, shooting some hoops, doing some Lego, even looking after your brother. When we do the things we love and enjoy, it reinforces our brain that we're good at something. These little small wins boost our self-esteem and also our confidence. Now you have an extra excuse to do all the things you wanna do. Step four, challenge yourself. Start to set up small goals that will challenge you. If you wanna lose weight, get into better shape. Try to go to the gym at least three times a week. Maybe you wanna get more comfortable around women. Instead of approaching street girls and getting loads of rejection, just start talking to your female colleagues at work or the next time you're in the shopping store, start making small effort to talk to women. By achieving these small goals, it will boost your self-esteem but also boost your confidence. You might actually start to like the gym, 
Also, you might find out most women are not scary. Some are, so you've got to avoid them, but generally most women won't bite unless you want them to. Step five, don't compare. It's easy to log on to Instagram, see everyone with these amazing physiques living these amazing lifestyles. One thing I've learned, what you see on the front is totally different to what happens behind closed doors. Let's take the liver king for example. He was eating raw meat telling everyone you could get this amazing physique by eating raw meat. Now I like my beef a bit bloody, but raw meat is going to an extreme. How many people do you think he convinced to try this routine and didn't get the physiques that they want? What do you think that did to their confidence as well as their self-esteem? It probably destroyed it. We found out Liver King was on steroids. Also, you see these people with nice cars and nice houses. A lot of the time, the houses and the cars are rented. For that reason, you shouldn't let social media be your standard, but you can use it for inspiration and leveling up. You don't know what goes on behind closed doors, so don't compare yourself to them. Focus on yourself, push forward with your life, put in the hard work, and you will see the results. Step six, failure. We've been trained to see failure as a bad thing, but I see failure as experiences. If you also start to see failures as experiences, you'll begin to take more risk. You won't let failure stop you from achieving everything you want. In life, you have to fail to become successful. Every time I fail, I just look at it as an experience and a way to become better. Once you start doing that, you will start to take more risks, you'll feel more confidence, and it will boost your self-esteem. So the next time you're about to take that risk and think, oh, I might fail, don't worry about it. Look at it as an experience. You will enjoy it, you'll learn from it, and you'll become better. By doing that, that will boost your self-esteem. Step seven, give something back. This is the ultimate hack for boosting your self-esteem. When you help someone less fortunate, whether it's financially, physically, or mentally, there's no better feeling when you help someone and you get that appreciation. This will absolutely blow up your self-esteem. Now you shouldn't help someone just for hoping that you will feel better because you're giving something, hoping someone back and it doesn't work like that. But if you're feeling a little bit down and you don't know what to do with yourself, go help someone else. Sometimes that will open your eyes up to a new world. Step eight, build your support system. Whether you decide to go see a professional or join a like-minded community, having this support system will allow you to get feedback from other people, but also you can share your struggles. Now, if you're interested in being in a like-minded community, you might wanna join my mailing list because when I release some big, you'll be the first to know. But being part of a community can be a great way to boost your self-esteem and your confidence. If you spent a lifetime of writing a negative story, just be aware it's going to take a bit of time to boost your confidence and your self-esteem. But if you turn up every day, it can happen. Now, if you want to build some confidence without saying a word, you might want to check this video out.